I think I would have probably have voted for um, probably Tonks. Uh, I think he's had a solid season, and uh, I know there's a lot of stuff being said about uh, obviously the injuries to the centre half place. And uh, if it was me, I'd, I'd uh, it'd be my choice to go to the, to the World Cup. I think he's been brilliant this year, and um, uh, he's uh, probably just come behind me for this one. So. Uh, Unlucky to him, but um, <laughs> no, I think he's a top player. I think Noble deserved it, yeah. And uh, I think Adrian was a good contestant, but uh, at the end, I think Noble deserved it. And he obviously got the pl player, player of the year, and the hammer of the year, which is voted by fans. I mean, they've been there every game, they see it every game home in a way. So, in the long period, I think he was very consistent. So, I think he deserved it at the end. Yeah. Obviously, all the lads get a vote, so we personally vote for James Tompkins. Um, just. Mr. Knowles has had a great season as well, but just for me with Tonks, I think last season he didn't really play that much, that many games, and he got himself into the team then, and I thought he was really uh, an outstanding performer. I would have gone for Knobs, Mark Noble, yeah. Um, obviously he got a hammer in a year, and uh, I don't think there would have been too many people in that room, or when it's as West Ham fans, that would have disagreed. So yeah, I would have said Mark for sure. I see uh, play when play against Chelsea away in Stamford Bridge because it was a, a hard game, it's a tough game and all my team may uh, keep a clean sheet in, in the difficult stadium uh, for me it's the, the best match. My favourite game this season was Spurs away, um, a 3-0 win. Um, only because I've got a, uh, a good friend who's a who's a uh, die-hard Spurs fan, and um, when we scored, when Rav scored his third goal, I remember celebrating, looking over, and uh, he was in tears to get us. So um, <laughs> it was a uh, it was a good memory, and it's sort of a it was a, a memory that I ain't really gonna forget. Been a few, I think. Um, I think the the winner the winner Cardiff was a big game. Probably not my favourite, but it was a big game. Um, but f the three 0 at, uh, at White Hart Lane earlier in the season, uh, that's that's the one that stands out for me. I think yeah, because it was uh, it was a hard game. We went there. Uh, people didn't really expect us to win. And uh, obviously Tottenham, they kicked on the campaign really well as well. So so for us. And we, we didn't have the striker that day as well, and Nicaro was injured, and uh, I think Carlton Cole was just about to come back to the team and stuff like that. And he wasn't as fit as, uh, as we expected, so the manager opted for a different tactic, which was terrific. He paid off at the end. And was, so I think, yeah, perhaps the, the magnitude of the game and the condition that we were in, I think he made it ex extra special. Maybe my first save in the Premier League against Man City, Man United, in my debut in in, in his in his speech. Uh, I remember in the first or second minutes, uh, one save is uh, unbelievable for me because I don't look the ball and when I got the ball again, I, I touch with my hands. <laughs> That was tough because our, I think Downing is terrific, you know. When he gets on the ball, you always expect something to happen. You know, he dribbles, he's so fast, so skillful, uh, so agile. Uh, and he's, he created a lot of goals for us this season. But um, I'll go with Adrian because in, in crucial moments, when we, when we weren't playing so well and uh, we rely on our defence, he just... He just he was just shining for us. So and he, he kept he kept so many clean sheets. Obviously with the help of the back four and the whole team, but uh, I think he just pulled he pulled some amazing saves at the crucial moments against Chelsea, Tottenham, you name the team and he was always there and consistent as well. So I'll go for Adrian, yeah. I'm gonna say Matt Jarvis is against Tottenham in the Carlin Cup. And again, against <clears throat> Tottenham, um, really hard game. Obviously, there was lads like myself who hadn't been involved in the Premiership and got a game against them and a few other players, really. And um, we really stuck it out and 
came together as a team really that day and uh, I think it showed what West Ham United are all about. There's been some ups and downs for sure. Uh, obviously, the, we all like to speak about the three wins against Spurs. But um, yeah, I mean, as a whole, I think with everything uh, injury wise and that, uh, to the position we're in and the position we were in at Christmas, um, I don't think anyone really, really saw it. Everyone was slightly worried at the time, but looking at it now, it's, um, from that point onwards, it's, it's, it's been a good, good part of the season, and uh, it was a, uh, I think it was a massive, a massive point to sort of just stay in the Premier League. Obviously, with the Olympic Stadium, the moving in there, I think that's uh, we, that was a must, and uh, we will be here next year. So uh, hopefully, we can push on next year. Well, we're twelfth now, and I think. There was a few scary moments around Christmas time into January, so um, we really came back strong in certain games, I suppose from Chelsea onwards. And uh, I think towards the latter end of the season, we looked really good again. It's uh, all good for next season. It's obviously been a tough one, I think we all know that. Um, it hasn't gone as quite well as we thought it would, but uh, we're still uh, 12th in the Premier League as we stand, and uh, we've had a bit of bad luck as well as injuries, and um, hopefully next season can be a a lot better for everyone and um, it can be a lot more enjoyable.